and I'll just make an appearance. I'll just shut this door so people don't see the wooden tiles. That's it shut. Huh? That's it shut. That's the door shut. Do you want the iPad to the shut? Sorry? No. Yes. Yeah, please. Because they'll come down just now. Hi, everybody. Um, back to Tuesday. <laughs> lockdown. Cook down Tuesday. Um, you can see that I've got rid of the beard. From the, the, last beard. Of weeks. the beard. Well, yes. The beard, well. The tent of the beard. It was uh, too itchy. So I'll get rid of that this week. Back to five year olds. So, hopefully, you all had a good week in the sun. It's a wee bit mixed today, but hopefully, the weather will make its mind up later on. Brian had a really good day in the sun, didn't you, Brian? When? Sunday. I had a great day in the sun <laughs> with my friends. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. A few bottles of rosy. How many, Dad? Ten. Right. <laughs> 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 Brian. Brian. <laughs> okay. So. Val just said you're looking all nice and shaven today. Who? Val. Fresh. Fresh. Yes. Fresh, Val. <laughs> um, okay. So, today we are going to be doing a classic risotto. Um, with herbs, um, roast chicken breast. Now you can use the leg if you want to prefer leg. Um, in our household, the leg is the most sought after. It's not. Um, so we have spinach and we have oh. um, some mushrooms to go with that. Portobello mushrooms. So, in the risotto, we start off with um, some onion. So we chop the onion very, very fine, sweat that off in a little bit of butter, get all the natural flavours out. Then we seal the rice. So we add the, the rice in, we seal it off um, in the hot pan. I deglaze that with white wine and then I continue cooking it with chicken stock. Now, when you're cooking with a boreal rice or a layer rice, it's different from Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben's, you put one cup rice, two cups stock. When you're doing a risotto, it's important that you just add enough stock. If you're just covering it, reduce that, cover, reduce, cover, reduce. So you do that. Roughly, it takes 14 to 15 minutes for the risotto. So a bit more work in it, isn't there? There is a little bit more work in it. So when you, you've got to lean over it. Um, you've got to stay more or less in front of it in the 15 minutes. So it doesn't burn. When it doesn't burn, and as I say, you're adding the stock. When it's cooked, we will finish off with mascarpone, grated parmesan, butter. To flavour it, we have chopped chives, chopped flat parsley, chopped curly parsley, um, and some thyme leaves. Okay? So, we will look on a risotto, you're looking for a really creamy finish. Okay? So, when you're adding your parmesan, the parmesan gives it a little bit of body and you're adding the butter to make it nice and creamy. So you've heard of the word Monte, um, when we Monte sauce, that means you're adding butter to give it a nice shine. When you're adding it to the risotto, it's to give it a nice velvet, um, fluffy, creamy texture. Okay? You can add, um, you know, you don't need to add these herbs I have. You can do basil or whatever you, you, know, you want. You can also add um, a little bit of white truffle oil um, to give it a different flavour um, if you wanted to. Uh, but that's the basic ingredients, okay? So we'll get started on that. Maybe that. 70. Sorry? Okay. So I preset the oven at 180 degrees for the chicken. And I'm going to. I've got the stock on already boiling at the back, chicken stock. Now you can use vegetable stock or you can use um, you know cube, you know, cube if you if you need if you want to. So I'm just gonna put a frying pan on. How many stock cubes would you use for your chicken stock well, on that one? It really depends on the many you're cooking for, but I mean the likes of 
this when you're adding, I am looking at the ingredients, Susan, um, when you are adding bouillon, it really depends on how many you're cooking for. So you serve four, so how many did you? I have chicken stock. Yeah, how, what, how much she is? So I never had cubes, so the cubes I would put maybe two, three, three and two or three. Okay. okay, so we're going to start with the onion. Again, keep the core on. Um, keep the core on at the end and nice and fine. So you're going all the way to the top. Not going all the way through. And you're going underneath. Underneath again. Underneath again. Underneath again. Underneath again. And then we're just going to go straight through. So nice and fine. Okay. It's easier to just take your time, get it nice and fine first time rather than standing with a big chopper putting all the flavour into the chopping board. Okay. So you can see how fine that is. So with that, I'm taking a little bit of butter into the pot. And put, that is a little bit of butter, Susan. Okay. And we're just going to fry that off, no colour. Okay. So while that's frying off, I'm going to season the chicken. So I've put the salt in the tub because um, apparently David Kennedy wasn't happy that I was taking from the salt tub, so I've put some in a wee special tub for you, David. <laughs> um, season the chicken. Always a bit better, more professional. More professional. Are you happy with that, Susan? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. Okay, so take chicken over to the stove and we get a hot frying pan. And as I said, uh, um, I'm just using a little bit of oil there. Back in messy cupboards. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for the pan to be really, really hot um, when we add this in. Okay, so with the butter melting, I'm just going to um, so we're just waiting the butter melting and frying the onion. Now, when we're frying the onion, I don't want any colour. I want to get all the natural sugars out. Um, of the onion, okay? So, chicken into a nice hot pan, get it sizzling, always away from you, just in case the oil splashes you um, up your arm. Why are you nodding your head, Susan? I'm agreeing. Oh, you're agreeing? Mm -hmm. We've actually agreed everybody for something. Okay. okay. So, you can see we're just frying the onion. Nice. Get it nice and soft. Mm. Sorry? Mm. Any questions? Mm. Any no? Okay. Oh, there was a question. Do you recommend using a flex stone to keep your knife sharp? Yes. Okay, so put in the rice. Uh, I'm cooking for four here, obviously, so um, I'm just going to add a little bit more. And I'll throw it smoke in the chicken instead of... Sorry? Smoke in the chicken instead of... What you're saying for the recipe? For the smoke in the chicken, um... You can still use that for the recipe. Yeah, of course you could, yeah. Now you don't need to use um, chicken, you can use um, fish, nice piece of fish, or um, even roast stalks with that. Okay, so chicken, nice colour in the chicken. So, it's sealing off the rice. Okay. Now, it's, it's important that you use a thick base pan when you're doing the, the rice. Okay, so with that, we have a little bit of white wine. Um, 200 mil. 200 mil. Okay, so you can see there, I'm not covered, not fully covered the rice with the wine. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up. Again, taking the wooden spoon out. 
turn the chicken back onto the skin and then I put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to cook that for about uh, 10 minutes. Your son's watching. Sorry? Your son's watching. My son's watching. Hi, son. How are you? Okay, so white wine. Um, hi, Lexi. Uh, so, with the, the risotto, as I say, we bring that to the boil. Now, I don't add any salt initially um, until I get it going, okay? Until you see it boiling over, okay? So, as I say, the stock, just make sure it's, it's, it's warm so it continues to boil when I'm adding this continuously, okay? So, for the garnish, we have curly parsley. No. Yeah, but it's, I've got things on, so I need to get it going. Okay, so I have used both types of parsley. I just take the stem off, and then I just. Is that curly? Yeah, and I have washed it prior. Um, so it's, it's it's dry when I'm thing. So I'm I'm not looking to make make it too fine. Okay. So I'll just add that to the rest of the stuff that I'd done earlier. Yeah, prepared earlier. Prepared earlier. Okay, again, a little bit of flat parsley. Just taking off the stems. Okay, with um, on the, once I get rid of the stem, I just chop the flat parsley again coarsely. Okay, so if I bring it all together with my fingers, Holding all in one bit, I can go through and I shouldn't really need to put the knife back through that. Okay, maybe turn it around slightly and that's it. Okay, so that's the flat parsley, like right, the ones we did earlier. Okay, so with the, the risotto here, you can see it's starting to boil. Okay, now as you can see, it looks pretty dry there at the moment. When we're adding the stock, as I said, we're just covering it and no more. Okay, so cover, give it a mix. Well, as I said, I'm just covering it, Susan. Okay. So it depends how much you've got. It depends on how much you've got. We've all got different amounts in the pot, Susan. Okay, okay. okay. so you can see that. So we're just going to, so we're going to bring that down. Okay, I'm just going to let that boil while we're getting... What's the difference between flat and curly parsley? Um, one's curly and one's flat. <laughs> Does one taste different? Yeah, they taste slightly different. The curly parsley is slightly bitter um, compared to the, the flat. Okay, so with the chives... So could you use one or the other or do you need You could both? use one or the other. As I said, you don't need to use... Um, all the herbs that I'm, I've got today, you can use um, basil or rosemary. Um, okay, so the chives, keep them all together. Now at home, if, if you're struggling with a whole bunch, just maybe take two or three at a time. Again, just back and forth using the knife, going along your fingernails. Along your fingernails, not through your fingernails. Okay, so nice and fine. Just keep Maybe it. You keep an elastic bands when you try to keep yeah, but the ones I got, Susan, unfortunately, this time didn't have the elastic bands. No, but you could use elastic bands. Yeah, you could. So you could oh, you could, yeah. yeah. But in general, if you're buying them, you have um, elastic bands around You're so them. cheeky today. I've got to be living with you, three. Okay. So. Um, sorry? I'm, I'm looking at the camera, Susan. I'm also looking at the Oh, shush. Yeah. Right, you're annoying everyone. Okay. So, chives. I'm annoying everybody. That's fine. That's all right. Okay. So, that sounds good. The two flat parsley's, uh, two flat parsley's, two parsley's, chives. chives, and thyme. So, we'll take the thyme and we just go from top to bottom, taking off the leaves. Okay, I don't want stem. Okay, so I just go through. Can you and show I'm me taking things? the stem. Okay. So I was asking if you grow your own herbs? No. 
Ah, as Donald not busy. <laughs> Equipment check, no? Helen said he is a bit sassy today, Bryony. Who said? Helen. Helen. Banks. I'm always I agree. sassy Banks. Mrs. Banks. <laughs> okay. So, nice thyme leaves and not um, branches, okay? So I'm just going to push that to the side, so I've got enough. So, brazy, brazy, brazy. Okay, so, <laughs> the risotto. You can see how quickly that's came down, okay? The stalks evaporated, okay? Where did it go? So it's into the rice, okay? So, again. Make sure you get it in the pot. It's going to be one of those days with Susan today. Okay. So, when we're doing the rice. Okay, so I'm just turn that down slightly. Now, if you're doing a dinner party, um, if you're doing a dinner party at home, oh. um, and you're trying to organise yourself with the risotto, if you cook it to roughly eight minutes, now that's a rough estimation, eight to ten minutes, um, you take it off, I'm going to show you uh, here <laughs> while I get everything else ready. Um, I am cleaning Susan, I'm going Stop to- Stop rolling your eyes! Oh my god, today, today! Even the, even the Duffies in Finland said you're really cranky this evening. I'm what? Cranky. Okay, so I'm just going to test the rice. It's not cooked. It's not cooked, <laughs> the rice, but I'm just going to test it. Mm. Okay, so I'll give it another couple of minutes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rice out of the pan and I'm going to spread it on a tray. Okay, so if you imagine uh, us in the restaurant, uh, because risotto, you need to stand over it the whole time, it wouldn't be possible if you get 10 different pans of risotto, all different flavours, whether it's squid ink, herb, whatever. Um, so what we do is, if we know how many people roughly booked, I'll gamble on how many portions I think I'm going to sell, we would cook this at service, it says 7 o'clock, like this, and then we take it off and we put it on a tray, like that. We spread it out. Now the reason we spread it out is so it cools down quicker. Smell the way. Okay. So you can see that if I if I leave that in a big pot, come to me. If I leave that in the pot, underneath it's going to be overcooked and the top's going to be raw. So I spread that out. You can see it's the steam obviously. That will continue cooking for a couple of minutes. But that'll give me time to get the rest of the garnish ready, okay? So I'm just going to check in my chicky on it. Sorry, Susan. Somebody asked if your salt needs to be hot when you're adding it in. Yes. So it continues to boil the whole, the whole way. Okay, so you can see a nice golden colour on my skin, nice and crispy. Is that your toes in there, Brian? Yes. Okay. So you can see there it's still slightly undercooked. Okay, you can still see the pinkness. So I'm only going to give that one more minute. One, two more minutes, and then I'm going to take it out. So what are you doing with this? Nothing. Just so I'm letting that cool okay. until I've got everything else ready. Did you get beat at the golf? Is that why you're grumpy? No, I won the golf. <laughs> Easy won the golf. Okay. Right. So for the, the next stage, so I've got my butter, my diced butter. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> diced butter, my mascarpone, and my parmesan. Now, when you're making the risotto, it's important, again, when it all comes together, you do need to find an extra gear to get it all going. So the risotto cooks very, very, it overcooks very quickly. Into fuss. Um, so, again, as I say, you need to be organised on getting it out, okay? So, Spinach, I've already washed it, so nice wee baby spinach leaves. We've did spinach before, um, a couple of weeks ago. Again, I'm just going to fry that off in a little bit of butter. butter. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I don't know why 
why he's asked me to do the cookie there, I was thinking he's just slagging me. We want, we want to get so, fed. The mushrooms? 180. I said 180. Okay, so, with the mushroom, the bigger ones, I'm just going to cut into big slices. Okay. Put on... Keep that up. What are you putting on a frying pan? Just putting on a frying pan, Bryony. Just try to cheat. Um, so quite a bit of press here now, Bryony. Okay, time and motion, Bryony. Time and motion. Okay. So you can, you could slice them if you wanted to. Um, or make them smaller. Or you could make them smaller. Or you could chop them up and make like a duke cell. Um, nope. Well, I made the risotto, if you remember, for Johnny and Mark, and we kidded on that they were mushrooms, but they were actually snails. Oh, yeah, that's right. So... Just threw up. Well, you wouldn't eat them otherwise, but you, right? Mm. Okay, so... I'm what are you doing? Put in a little bit of oil to cook the mushroom. To you. Whatever. We'll do that. Once the pan's hot, I'll add the mushroom. Uh, I'm just going to check the chicken. Okay, so I'm going to take that out and let that rest for a minute. So, into a hot pan. How do you clean the mushrooms? Wash so I just, or simply So I have three, three bowls of salty water. Um, so, put them in, take, I took the, st the stem off, it's better to wash them whole, mushroom is already 70%, 80% water, so when you're washing them, you don't want them to be sitting in the water, so you've got your three rolls of your water, one, two, three. If you put a little bit of salt also in the water, it extracts all the wee beasties that's stuck in, um, maybe underneath the stem Strawberries, or Strawberries, TikTok. Okay. Yeah. So. Where's Zach? We've got the... Oh, he's lying down too long to do. Okay. So we've got the mushrooms cooking away. Okay, so the chicken. I take the bone. I go round in a circle. Okay. Nice, even circle. And then I just hit the bone. Break the bone off. So I'll get a nice presentation. Just trim up the excess fat. Okay. And you can see for presentation, nice round uh, chicken breast. A uh, oval chicken breast before you say something briny. <laughs> Somebody commented? Beasties in the mushrooms, Jim's asking. Huh? Beasties in the mushrooms. Beasties in the mushrooms, yeah. Sometimes you get the ants or three creepy crawlies. Okay. So, the mushrooms are just frying off. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Bring out the excess water. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay. So, what the pan the risotto was in. I'm going to take the risotto and put it back in. Okay. As I say, if you've, if you've seen that out there and you were only doing two portions, um, or if you were doing a dinner party, you can do the exact same thing. All I would say to you is if you were going to do it, um, say, four or five o'clock when your guests arrive in an evening, is maybe put a sheet of pine foam on it um, once it's kind of dried, um, cooled down slightly so that uh, you're not continuing to cook it even longer. Okay. So, with that, get your feet out of the camera, Brownie. Okay, so you can see how the mushrooms are cooking down. Okay, nice brown. You can see a nice even colour all the way through. Okay. So I'm just going to take them off the heat at the moment and I'm going to put the rice back on. Don't want wood. 
Don't want really clever, Brian, you're right. Okay, so I'm going to put my chicken onto my pan, ready to go back in the oven. Stop moving! You don't, you don't need to move, you don't need to move back No, you just stand still, Briny. Huh? You stand still, Briny. Okay, so a little bit more stock. Okay, now you don't want, as I said, you're not looking to flood, uh, flood the rice. Okay, so you can see it's all coming together. I think so. We have our rice, we have our mushrooms, I've got our chicken. Wor. Um, Susan likes the way I Wor. use work um, for everything. So we have our spinach, we have our risotto, we have our mushrooms, and we have our chicken breast. Not work. Okay? So, it's a what, sorry? No, it's not going to school. Slime. Airshire slime, Susan. Work. Huh? Dropping out of okay. school. Dropping out of school. <laughs> I'm not dropped out of school, Brian. <laughs> huh? You just get chopped out. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Tasting it? Yeah. Mm. So, we're probably four minutes, five minutes away on the rice. When you. Is there a lot of pot washing in this one? No, it's just, you've only got three or four pots. Are you joking? Three or four pots. Five, six. Huh? Six. Six what? Pots and trees. Right. You're always moaning. You're never happy. Never, ever happy. Wait, what are we waiting on? Yeah, Brian, I forgot to take the plates <laughs> out before I start shouting at me. Huh? Okay. Well, I always tell you to be organised. Well, I, took, I forgot to take the plates out. I'm very sorry. Okay. We'll be back to so, you in two minutes. As I say, with the... <laughs> When we're finishing this off, we'll get the risotto finished and we'll, while, that's, while we're finishing the risotto, we'll have the spinach cooking. My chicken will be in warming up and the mushrooms are, are going to, all we're going to need is a wee quick flash and the, the gas. Not a physical flash. Right, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> okay. So. Right, let's move on. I never on. said anything about my chopper today. No, let's not. Briny. On to the spinach. No, I'm not on to the spinach yet, because we need to spend a bit of love and affection. I'm just heating up the pan for the spinach. But the rice, um, when we start adding it, as I say, it's important that we get a good beating uh, into it. Okay? I just think of you, Briny, a good beating. Huh? Okay. So, this is a, as I say, it's a wee bit of a critical thing. Yeah. People just join us because me. Huh? <laughs> just keep your camera steady, Brian. Yeah. Get it on me, Brian. Okay. Sorry? Mum. Yeah, no. She's always got something to say. She just sits there and has always got comments. I know, she's just uh, like you. Okay. So is there any questions while I'm just waiting in the rice and everybody understand what they're doing, or if they're cooking along, if they're not cooking along, um, with me? No questions as yet. No? Maybe, have you got a wee bit of time, maybe you should talk about the wine then? I was thinking for a wee bit of time. Yeah, do you want me to do that, Susan? Well, don't put it on the pot on the floor. I'm not going to make it a little bit. Right, so. Right, so. The. Right, I'll lift the bottle, Brian. I'll lift the bottle. So, Pinot Grigio. Um, Castle for Pinot Grigio. So, it's from Italy. Where it's dry, fruity, very intense finish, um, and that's seven pound twenty a bottle. These wines again are from Inverarity, our friends at Inverarity Morton. We have a Sancerre uh, Rosé. We had a Sancerre Red last week. Again, um, Sancerre White is one of my favourite um, from the Loire Valley, 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 Valley in uh, France. Um, it's a Pinot Noir. 
uh, grape. It's very subtle, strawberry, apricot flavour. Mm. Um, very nice. It looks strawberry. It looks very strawberry, Susan, nice, doesn't it? Yeah, nice strawberry Wow. Okay, so then we've got the Collins and Coles Sanjo Venezi, uh, which is a red from Australia, and that comes in at £12.50 a bottle. I don't think I said the price, it's fifteen ninety five for the Sancerre. 7 dollars um, Huh? Seven twenty for the white? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. The Sancerre Venezi is a whole full of flavour, um, but surprisingly light um, when you're drinking it. So that's the wines from my friend at Inverarity. Um, Okay, Blimey. Okay. Can you find it a little bit? Huh? Stuck to the pan. <laughs> so. I'll taste it. Just a second. No, not far away. It's solid. What? Solid. <laughs> what can I keep in your... If you've never done this before, what can I keep in your, in your taste in it? But well, you're looking the same. Uh, Is it like a raspberry texture? Or? Like Uncle Ben's, you're basically you're looking for a soft, a, rice. a fluffy rice with a, a little bit of crunch. Okay. Not um, no like uh, what do you call it? Uh, can't even think. My brains went a bit mush today. It's all the the rosy wine and Sunday brine here. So we're not recovered. Huh? Still not recovered. Always recovered. Okay. So. Couple of minutes, sorry. Thanks, Helen. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Brian, your comments are hilarious. I know. <laughs> I wish you could say you were hilarious, Brian. Huh? Okay. So, the chicken. I'm just going to cut it. At an angle, put it under there, put it just nice and easy, and you can see, okay. yes, just, okay, so you can see there how moist the chicken is, okay, I know you don't like that word, Briny, but it's the only way to describe it, okay, so you put it back together, and you're just going to give it a quick flash, back onto the frying pan, back onto the frying pan, and then it will go in the oven in a few minutes, okay, so you can see the rice is the starch is coming out of the rice. That's you can see on the top the layer. Of. Okay, so again, as I say, I just turn this down slightly. That's that a noise. <laughs> What's wrong with the noise, Brian? Huh? Is an upset stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with you. Somebody's asking if the, the sun set, is it dry or is that a dry rose How long would you say the chicken was in the oven? Eight to ten minutes. And then after I'm only the going fry. to put it in for uh, two minutes, three minutes after. Just to warm it up? Just to warm it up. Dry, Susan? Medium dry. Medium dry. Mmm. Okay. So. Now, the finishing of the rice. When we start adding the butter, the mascarpone and the parmesan, we take the rice off the heat, okay? If I add, um, what you want to remember is when you're adding butter to anything, if I add butter and I just leave it to sit, it's going to go greasy. So when I'm adding the butter to something hot, I need to beat it in to make it creamy. Otherwise the butter will just sit on top and it'll be um, greasy, okay? Right, so, chicken back in the oven, while I'm finishing that off, my pan's on for the spinach. Can we turn your oven down or just keep it? No, I just kept it at the same temperature, Susan. Don't want it, would you? Okay. 
So. Wait, you see how many times he's tasting that's just gonna be on the left. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to go down this side so I can add here. Um, <laughs> and you're fa I'm facing the camera. Okay, so rice is cooked. We take a spoon, a good spoonful of mascarpone. That was two. two. One, that and was a half. one and it was two. One and a third. Okay. <laughs> Parmesan. It was. I'm just going to mix that in. I'm not sure if I put Parmesan on the recipe. Don't think you did, Susan. So what would you say you've got in there then? Just grated Parmesan. What, a handful? Yeah. Okay. okay. So you can see already, it's starting to cream up. Okay. So. It smells lovely. With that, I add some butter. Okay. Now butter. Now like rice pudding. The same as if you're making rice pudding, you're wanting to add the butter in and mix that through. Okay. That so you can see how <laughs> buttery and creamy the, the rice is getting. Okay. Now with the, the rice, because we don't have a sauce with this dish, <laughs> the, your butter is your sauce. So you're making it, as I say, um, Nice and creamy. Why are you laughing? There's something wrong with you. Okay, so I'm just going to check it. So, a pinch of salt and a little no, and a little bit more parmesan. Again, these things are for your own taste. <laughs> these are guidelines of what you have. Okay, so I'm just going to take the chicken out. <coughs> say you're looking for a nice creamy consistency. Now what you'll find when you add your herbs, it'll dry the mixture out. Okay? So you might have to add a little bit more stock um, to it. Okay? So you can see nice consistency, nice smooth rich consistency. Okay? I'm not moving. Huh? Not moving. Okay, so we add a little bit of time. Now remember, time is very, very strong. So it's easier to add a little and you can always add more later on. Parsley. Parsley. <laughs> Chives. Chives. This was so flat. So the first one was flat and the second one was thin. So you can see nice beet again. And as I said, you can see the herbs soak up the stock slightly. Okay. Can we, can we mute this bit? <laughs> okay. So, with that, we take. Just looks like soup, doesn't it? Yeah, I can see it drying out a bit. Okay. So, I'm just going to add a wee. But I stopped. I always thought the oils was meant to be quite dry. Okay. So, but this one, you can't yeah, have it as dry. No, this is risotto. Okay. So, oh, got you. With that, you take the spoon. Okay. So start in the middle. Nice pile in the middle first. Mm -hmm. And if you take the back of the spoon and just make a circle, you can see it nice and round. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it slightly in because I'm going to add my spinach and my mushrooms to that. Oh yeah. Okay, so nice green spinach. Put it in the middle. Take my chicken. Okay, and it gives me a bit of height. 
to put the chicken onto. Opening up the chicken so you get the brown from the crispness of the skin. And then the nice white meat inside. Mushrooms up. And whether you do a wee pile of mushrooms tucked in in there. Okay. So you would serve that like that. Or again, you could put some shavings of parmesan over the top. Um, um, and we can just finish it a little bit of herbs on top. Okay, so that's one presentation. Looks, Two. Looks awfully pretty. Um, for vegetarians, obviously, as I say, you could just do it with the mushroom. What's the characters for vegetarians? Um, again, you can see I'm just using the back of the spoon and how clean it is on the plate. Um, mushrooms around the outside, around the outside. It okay. looks like porridge a wee bit, don't you? No. Like the same consistency okay. as porridge. Like yeah, I like starch. A little bit of Jeez. spinach. And I'll just take this chicken off and, <laughs> and use it again. You got a photograph of the first one, yeah? I did, yeah. Okay. Um, and you could just put the, or you could do the chicken, as I say, through the middle. Like that, okay? The only thing I'm going to say is when you're presenting this to your friends or family, the bone always goes away from the customer. It's rude to point. <laughs> so the bone always goes away. Okay, so you can see it there in front of me. The bone is coming towards me. Um, and I'll just wipe the plate. Oh, thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's your two... Two different presentations with that the same ingredients. Lovely. Again, <laughs> um, as I say, you could use this for vegetarian, the rice, the spinach, the mushrooms. And if you wanted more parmesan, you could either um, do shavings, which we did shavings of parmesan with something, no? We did, we did shavings of parmesan a couple of weeks ago, no? With the yeah, speed peeler. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you could just put that on top for a little bit. So you, with the heat of the chicken, the parmesan would be melting over that by the time it goes to your customer, our friends or whatever family. Okay, as I say, you know, the biggest tip I can give you on the rice is if you're going to do a dinner party, cook it for the 8 to 10 minutes, put it on the tray, clean film it once it's slightly cold, put it to the side and then all you need to do is put it back in the pan and you're only really standing over it for 5-6 minutes rather than the 15 minutes what we were doing today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Yes, Susan, we're not in class. Do you want to talk about the, the mixed box of wine? That so, yeah, um, in Veranity are still doing the mixed boxes of Brian Mall uh, selected wines uh, due to popular demand over the last few weeks. Um, so, as I say, everything's online um, on all uh, social media. Platforms. Sorry, platforms. My <laughs> daughter is keeping me corrected. Okay, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much, and we will see you next Mobby Tuesday. See you later. Bye. Bye.